Time now for Tech Check. How does the banking turmoil we're seeing in the market raise the risk for cyber attacks? There's a connection, believe it or not. Deirdre Bosa is here with the story. Hi, Deirdre. There most certainly is a connection. And to answer your question, it raises the risk by a lot. In fact, Cloudflare, one of the biggest cybersecurity companies, has been monitoring the fallout and seen a spike in attacks on the sector. I just spoke to CEO Matthew Prince. We're seeing that um, ac uh, across a broad set of, of, of banks. Um, uh, Silicon Valley Bank definitely had the sort of early uh, pickup, but Signature Bank uh, and now Credit Suisse uh, and First Republic we're seeing is also additional <coughs> targets where, again, criminals are posing as if they uh, either are the bank and saying, here's how you can recover your funds or here's how you can secure your funds. Or the other type of threat that we're seeing is that oftentimes uh, the criminals are sending messages to what might be customers of, of vendors that use uh, the uh, Silicon Valley Bank or one of the other banks. Prince says that the banking sector itself has done a pretty good job of putting the right protections in place, but they're still vulnerable to attacks on some of their largest customers. I think right now the bigger risk is with uh, the various uh, uh, companies that might be using the banks and how they might be scammed during this time of stress. Um, and we do see that there are attacks that go against the financial sector. But if we look at all of the different sectors that are out there, financial services and the banking industry actually is, is probably at the front of the pack in terms of uh, cybersecurity protections. And, and, I, and, and that isn't one of the things that is sort of top of my list of concerns this week. So, Kelly, everything that we're hearing and, you know, Matthew Prince saying that attacks are on the rise, this bodes well for cyber spending, cybersecurity spending in the months and years ahead, even against a softer economic backdrop. And we know that it has been one area of tech that has held up better and that's likely to continue. Yeah, I thought, Georgia, it was uh, so fascinating as well. You were saying yesterday about how there's still this kind of notion of wanting to come back and try to support SVB through its struggles this morning you know it's filing for a reorg and uh, it's going to have many many chapters to uh, come and sorting this out just give us an update you think on where sentiment in the valley stands i think sentiment in the valley is, is similar to where it has been i mean silicon valley bank has been a partner through the dot-com bus through the global financial crisis i think there's uncertainty though no one knows what it's going to look like going forward they want a partner that's going to serve tech specifically, whether that's Silicon Valley Bank or someone else. A lot of people I talk to just don't see anyone that is able to fulfill that role. So they say if Silicon Valley Bank has the right management, has the right assets, they'll go back. But this is a time of opportunity, Kelly. I speak to founders who say that they're being pinged by private bankers, other institutions, all trying to offer the similar kinds of products and step into that space. We'll see if anyone's able to do it.